just got my hand x-rayed. One more picture to add to my collection of uh, pictures of my body. Let's have a look. This is me giving you an okay sign. Hmm. Look how beautiful my hand looks. My bones. It's great stuff, isn't it? Look at this one. It's awesome. I love pictures of my body without the skin. Not like cut it open or anything. You know, just like ultrasounds, MRIs, x-rays, they're great. Now look, there's a, there's a piece of bone. Is that normal? It seems to be like a fragment of something. It's probably normal, right? Looks normal to me. I don't see any problems. I mean, not that I'm a doctor or anything. Oi. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm about to have cake. It's a surprise, I'm not supposed to see what's coming, but it's all every day, it, every time is the same. It's not really a mystery, is it? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Why are you going like the long way? Yay! Daddy. Daddy. Two years ago. Do I get a present now? No. She's been withholding a present from me for a long time. Aww. And I'm very curious about what it is. I saw a charge in the credit card and I thought it was suspicious and then she got really mad at me that I went to look at the credit card statement. You're not supposed to see this. Is this the, the, the present that you've been hiding from me? You'll find out. It's not what I was thinking. The size is different. I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> Mysterious thing. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> This is great. After having lunch and celebrating my birthday again, which happened in the 7th of January. Oh, sorry, I got interrupted. There was a car <laughs> driving up the driveway and I had to run. As I was saying, we went to Shelly's aunt's house to celebrate my birthday again. I know my birthday was some time ago, but we have this family gatherings whenever there's people's birthdays and we couldn't do it last week. So that's why we did it today. Now, let me show you what they gave me. Shelly organized this and then I think they split. This is a painting. This is not the actual painting. This is a print of a copy of the painting it's a painting of the cover of the little prince and it's this is the actual size of the painting it's a watercolor miniature painting and this artist i think her name is lorraine lutz or something like that she does all these miniature paintings and it's so amazing and when i saw this i follow her on instagram when i saw this one i'm like oh, i must have it it's just so beautiful how does one do this let me show you with a bit more detail it's so amazing isn't it and it's framed as well it's beautiful look at this it's beautifully framed and then there's that tiny little print and the day when she printed which was january 2016 so amazing probably laughing at me for being fascinated by this tiny little painting of the little prince of the cover of the little prince but i have a little prince collection you probably know this because i talk about this all the time and this is a limited edition there's only 20 of these now i just need to find a place to put it hello so what are you doing on monday i gotta go see the um gonna go and see then tdm a youtuber that i didn't even know existed yep 13 million subscribers 13 million subscribers mm -hmm. it's because it does gaming right like minecraft yeah. and blah blocks what, what is it called yeah. i thought you didn't want to be in it <laughs> what are you doing brooklyn stop playing fifa is this yeah. fifa 17 you're in the background he never puts me in my in his videos because he only cares about brooklyn i came here because i needed to get my sg card back it was yeah. copying gopro videos or something i sometimes outsource my vlog by giving brooklyn a camera bye one of the problems of coming grocery shopping is that I always spend a lot of time looking at things I never bought before Things that I probably don't need and comparing them Or sometimes I go to buy something I always buy and then I realize oh this is a different brand I wonder if this brand is better I spent a long time doing that A long time I also bought Amelie ch chocolate 90% cocoa chocolate We don't let her eat sugar and there's very little sugar that's probably very 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 bitter But that's all the chocolate she's gonna have for now One day she's gonna watch this videos when she's older and she's gonna be like Oh my gosh you guys tortured me I never had chocolate when I was young <laughs> Or she's gonna thank us uh, yes, I am sitting on the floor next to my bins. It's not the first time I make a video sitting here. I made a very terrible, the worst video I've ever made sitting here where I, you know those videos where people go, what's in my phone? I did one, but what's in my recycling bin? No, it's not a joke. I had no other ideas. I needed to make a video. It was sometime, it was a long time ago. It's one of my favorite videos. Not because it's good, but because of how bad it is. And it's, it, yeah. Hopefully this one is gonna turn out one of my favorite videos as well. How do I begin? Begin. How do I begin? Maybe the reason why I'm sitting here is because what I'm going to talk about also involves Twitter and garbage and Twitter. There's a lot of garbage on Twitter. Yeah, you get the point. When I started vlogging, I made a video that I think was entitled 
what even is vlogging. And in there I talk about how I want my vlogs to be entertainment and not about my opinions. I have lots of opinions, lots of opinions. Some people have stronger opinions than others. I'm one of the people who have very strong opinions. And from when I started daily vlogging, I was very careful to not make this a place where I just talk about my opinions. In fact, I try not to talk about them at all as much as I can. The reason why I made that decision is because Casey Neistat, when he used to vlog every day, he also, his vlogs were very for entertainment. He didn't spend a lot of time talking about his opinions. And I think a lot of people follow him because of that. So much so that the day he made a video supporting Hillary Clinton, he got a huge backslash because his vlogs were generally not about that. And he was not just like, oh, I'm gonna vote for Hillary Clinton, but he was very assertive and telling that every YouTuber should go and tell their audience to vote for Hillary Clinton, which was like, whoa, calm down, man. What, what, okay, what are you doing? We're here making entertainment videos. Don't try to hijack our channel. Have any Twitter conspiracy theorists made any theory about why he made that video? You know, working for CNN, made that video in a similar time? No, not yet. I'm sure it's on Twitter somewhere. Everything is possible on Twitter. Now on Twitter and Facebook, on the other hand, I actually talk a lot about my opinions. And if you follow me on Twitter, you would have noticed Probably. There are times, however, when I question if I made the right decision. Today being one of those times, because Twitter is in panic because uh, the president of the United States changed. And there are all these people freaking out, and there are all these people saying things, and all this fake stuff appearing everywhere, and fake news, and fake pictures, and fake... It, man, what is happening? with the world. So I thought that for the rest of this video I'm gonna share a bit about my opinions. I, I don't wanna do this though, I don't wanna, I, I don't want my videos to be about this. There's lots of videos out there where you can watch people talking about their opinions and their thoughts and politics and stuff. And I do watch a couple of channels that are about that. I really like doing daily vlogging, but at the same time I need a place. You know, with all these opinions in my mind, I sometimes I feel like I need to vent. And, and, and that's what I do on Twitter. So I'm sorry if you follow me on Twitter and you get all this it, it, yeah, you probably know what I'm talking about if you follow me on Twitter. I also thought about starting another channel, Carlos has an opinion kind of channel, where it's all about me talking about stuff, my opinions and my thoughts on events and what's going on in the world. The only problem with that is that my opinions are not very popular, I think, especially in a place like YouTube with a lot of young people. I tend to be more on the conservative side, completely against socialism, if you haven't noticed yet, and the shirts I wear and the things I say on Twitter. And that doesn't seem to be very popular these days. And when you're trying to build a channel, you want to be popular. <laughs> you want people to come and, and watch you. And if you start saying things that they don't like to hear, they'd be like, oh, I don't want to hear this. I will unsubscribe. At least I know I do that sometimes. Mostly because it, it's, it annoys the heck out of me how people think this and I just d don't need that in my life. I do like to read different opinions though because that makes me think. That's why I thought about starting another channel so this channel is not filled with that. So without further ado, here are some of the things that really annoyed me today. <laughs> 